Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back, or welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to be completing another Nightwave Act. This time, Vault Looter. Unlock four um, Dragon Key Vaults on Deimos. And we are actually going to do this solo, okay? Because I think it might be easier for us if we did this solo. We could, in fact, do it with other people and hope for the best. But I'm going to tell you guys how to do it solo. Okay, so we need to go to our gear slot. This part is very important. We have to put all four of our dragon keys on. So that the bleeding dragon key. By the way, you'll get the blueprints from your dojo as far as I recall. So definitely make sure you get them on. Also, don't forget to take them off after the mission because I always forget to and then I go into a public mission and they'll be like, hey dude, why do you have a dragon key on just to make it harder for yourself? But yeah, that is one of the little secrets. Now, what we will do is we will go into, you know, Deimos because that's where the key thingy, the vault thingy are now. Now, we can go in anything for this, but we are actually going to go into an exterminate for this just because I feel like it. We might change it up, but yeah. Okay, now that we are in the mission, we have to look for the key. Now, this is where having teammates might have actually came a little bit more in handy for us. That way we could actually, you know, have the home team look around, but we can find it ourselves. Yes, I'm still looking for it, technically. Still looking for it. Fun trick will be to go into operator mode, because at the time of making this video, operators aren't affected by the slowdown of the vault thing. Of the dragon key, rather. And like that, we found the first vault key. And we know for a fact we have the key because, you know, the power of, you know, having our full equipped give us the knowledge. Okay, so we got to find where extraction is. Oh yeah, we have to kill all the exterminate enemies first. Maybe I shouldn't have chose exterminate. And we have completed one of four. It looks like we got critical delay. This is how you get those certain vault mods as it were. We also got an Orkin Cypher to the day. <clears throat> have no clue what that does, but yeah. Since we have multiple copies of each key, we didn't actually need to re-equip anything, which is definitely for the best. Now, crafting the keys, you can actually craft them. They take a minute each to craft. It's an unlimited, they're unlimited blueprints. So I definitely recommend crafting multiple copies. Hey, the vault key, the vault was right here. And hey, we did the vault key thing. Now, bada bing, bada boom. We just have to finish the exterminate mission. That would be easier, probably, if I chose another mission besides exterminate. But yeah. And like that, we have completed the second one. And we got... Real momentum. Yeah. Okay, and I found the third fault. Now I just need to go in, get the thingy. I go back into operator mode to complete this mission. I also just want to point out real quick that they are only like level 15 enemies or whatever. So 
13, not even 15. So I'm able to just go through this all with my operator real quickly. And because I use Anaris as a main, he's not even affected by the shield thing at all. But even if he was, not really the biggest deal in the world. And let's see what mod I got this time. Okay, interesting. And this will actually be the fourth one that we're going to go on and do right now. Hopefully we can find the vault sooner than later. And like that, we found the fourth and final vault. Yep, we completed it. We unlocked all four doors. We may as well grab that treasure thing there because why wouldn't we, right? Take full advantage of the fact that we are unlocking the vault keys. Why not get the treasure, right? And bada boom! We are finished. Oh, it looks like we got spoiled strike. I honestly forgot this is how you get spoiled strike as well. Okay, now as you saw, we completed that Nightwave mission. It took about 30 minutes, all things considering. I'm actually here because I have to remember to take all the keys off, you know, because I really don't want to go into a normal mission with them because it's, it's very annoying. So yeah, I took all of those off and spent about 30 minutes, was able to do the mission solo just fine. And yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's double check, make sure it's completed. Yep, it is completed. It's right here. So, yeah, I'm actually going to end the video here. Hopefully, you guys found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. And I will catch you guys in the future. Later.